What's up, phone flipping army? Listen, uh, last last week I bought a bunch of phones. I bought so many phones. We'll say about forty thousand dollars. And the problem is I didn't get any of them on my sheet until Monday. Um, I had a guy come in town and sell me fourteen grand more phones. And so I did something I hadn't done in a while, and I shipped off phones to somebody that pays me when they get there. And when I bought these phones, they were at six, uh, they were at seven twenty five in price a piece, and now they're at five eighty five. So that's four of them. So that is six hundred and forty dollars. Did I do that right? Six forty, dude. I lost at least a um, thousand dollars, at least, if not more, probably more, probably more, probably more like two or three thousand in lost profits, um, and in those I actually lost money. I think I lost fifteen bucks a piece. Assuming it depends on what they end up paying me, um, but I managed to salvage a lot of it by searching around for buyers. Um, but dude, that feels super freaking bad. And so normally when I'm selling stuff, I'm selling to people that are saying, hey, this is the price. This is what I'm paying. Sh- uh, ship it. Here's your money. Done deal. And I try to get the best price I can there too. But I also I weigh in the fact that like, well, now money paid paid is better than, uh, than waiting and hoping I get the price that I hope I get when it gets there. So, um, right now what you need to do is when you're buying phones, you need to be sure that you have a buyer lined up and you need to, you need to make sure that that, that buyer is going to pay you what either what they say they're going to pay you when you ship it off or what are their rules when it gets there. And, um, and I hadn't, you know, again, I hadn't done this, uh, the mail off get paid after in a very long time as far as, um, as far as especially on new. And I also... Uh, Chris is on this call. He says, I better hit three potholes in the next few minutes. Dude, I live in a shithole state, okay? Like, you know, it's partly my fault, yes. But it's also uh, no money. No money in this area. That's why I get so many phones because people finance these things to the gills and then they're like, crap, I got to get out of here. And then they think 500 bucks is, uh, it, it, and they came up and now they're rich. What's up, Philip? Danny? Luke, I, I see eleven people on here, but I can't. I can't actually see everybody. What's up, Sam? What's up, Sam? Soul Sam, my air filter, like a boss. So, yeah, you get with the Sams, the Chris's, like people that are gonna basically pay you what they say they're gonna pay you. Um, out of convenience, I made that mistake, and I basically shipped it to somebody that I'm just not gonna name because they owe me a lot of money. <laughs> uh, and they pay on when it arrives, right? You don't think about these things when it's, you know, one phone or two phones. It's not the end of the world. But when you ship someone 50 phones or 100 phones, you know, you imagine what would happen if it was 100 times $140. Uh, that would be 14 grand, guys. And so, anyway, you know, I make some of these videos and I'm just like, basically, don't be like me. Uh, I make them so you can not be like me. And sometimes I'm telling you to be more like me, but. Uh, in this instance, you know, get your money, even if it's a little bit less, get it, get it secured and get it right away and get your phone sold so you can go ahead and, and, and buy some more. And, um, and that's the way to do it in these, in these uncertain times because, you know, part of me is thinking, okay, how does it go down even further? But the whole world is just saying, hold my beer and it just keeps on going down. Um, hope that helps. Later, guys.